Then we have token ring. Topology is really a ring topology. And we will, so we will talk about what token means, but it's essentially a ring. So you connect pairs to form a full ring. The problem with a ring like this, and maybe maybe I'll draw it this way, that makes it more clear than the 3D image. And suppose that this is C1, C2, C3, C4, is that if C1, but the, 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 the thing with the ring is that if C1 wants to talk to C3, it needs cooperation from C2 that needs to get the communication go. But also, if C1 is communicating with C3, and then maybe C4 wants to communicate with C2, then we have a problem, right? We have a problem because this link here, which is yellow, will experience some collision. Unless C1 is smart enough to block the communication of C4, there's potential for collision on a shared resource. And so the idea is that basically that why don't we let only one actor talk at uh, any given time so that we avoid this condition altogether. And so that's where the token comes from. This is a token, it's a logical token that determines which computer is allowed to send data at that time. Everybody else is only on listening mode. And then this token is passed around to get fair share of the network. So C1, after C1 is done, or after a certain established amount of time, then needs to pass the token to C2. If C2 has nothing to say, passes to C3 until it reaches C4, and then C4 can start its communication. Okay, so topology is really a ring, a ring where everybody cooperates in the forwarding the messages, but being a ring a shared resource 